Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Um, first off, <laughs> I've been away for two weeks and the main reason why is because I came down with, last Sunday, I came down with a really horrible cold which I've still got. It's not as prominent as it was, um, but my throat is still a little, <clears throat> a little off. So if I if I do cough or my voice goes a bit funny in this video, I apologise. It I can't help it. It's just this cold bug will not leave me alone, and it's driving me crazy. So that was why um, I I just I haven't been around because <laughs> you know there we are. Um, so. Other than working, I've been. I went to see the Taylor Swift Eras tour before, right, the day before I came down with this cold, um, um, which was uh, the concert in cinemas. To clarify, <laughs> um, and I absolutely loved it. If you were able to see it, go see it. Um, and yeah, I've just been, you know, working and, and such. So, uh, you know, very boring and trying to shift this horrible cold that I've come down with. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible while my voice is still around. Um, so what was I going to say? Oh yes, uh, I did a community post about the bookishly advent calendar and how because of my holiday I have to wait until payday in order to buy it and unfortunately payday is on Tuesday. I opened bookishly yesterday and they've sold out. I thought that was probably going to be the case. So I'm not going to be able to do a bookishly advent calendar this year, but I've got a backup planned. So there is something that's going to be happening. Um, and this one, in a way, is completely blind because with bookishly, it gave the list of the 18 books that you would randomly get in the advent calendar. Um, so uh, well, you get 12, just to clarify, out of those 18s, but it was completely random. But um, yeah, I'm doing something that's completely blind this year. So, but you'll find out more um, uh, probably mid to late November when uh, when uh, I, I announce what I've got planned as backup. Anyway, uh, enough about that. I'm here to talk about the book I've been reading, which is What Was Rescued by Jane Bailey. Now, when I announced this book uh, and everything, I talked about how I had this specially printed copy because at the time Jane had self-published through Amazon and she was doing an event at the Cheltenham Literature Festival because it was about local authors uh, and she's local to the area um, and so because it was self-published Amazon very kindly allowed printed copies to be made in order for people attending the event to to take home with them um, and have it signed by Jane and I got one of those copies I have since uh, reading this book checked Amazon and the printed copies are available as standard now as well as an audio book and the Kindle edition so all different uh, medias are now covered it was just at the time it was only Kindle edition available for this book when I got this like several years ago um so yeah so if you are interested in reading it it's available in all different formats um so what was rescued it's my first jane bailey book uh, that i have read and it was inspired by real events of children who were taken to canada uh in a i think it was in yeah it was in the navy uh ship and it sank and uh, children, local um, children to, to Cheltenham and such were on this ship uh, and sadly perished and Jane came across this historical event uh, I think online uh, and she found it so interesting she researched it further uh, and then she was inspired to write this book. So this book is about four children uh, who are um, Arthur, Dora, Philip and Pippa, even though it's it's written basically from the perspectives of Arthur and Dora only, just so you're aware. Um, the reason why it makes sense when you get to the end of the book, um, but yeah, the two prominents are Philip and Dora. Um, so sorry Arthur and Dora. <laughs> Arthur and Philip are brothers and um, Dora and Pippa are just complete strangers uh, and all four meet on this boat 
uh, going to Canada and the, the ship gets into trouble and the decision of one of them affects all of their lives going forward uh, into the, you know, into the future. Uh, and so we've got multiple time span, uh, time points here flicking back and forth between the past and the present. So not knowing Jane's work, I went into this like completely blind and it was, it was very interesting. The, 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 but, uh, it was interesting, but it had problems. And the thing with, the thing usually is that you have one area that's positive and then you have a negative that's coming from a different area, but every single area had a positive and a negative. So for example, I liked the characters, but the characters just weren't that deep. They were very two dimensional to me. I love the setting, but it wasn't, but in all of the time points, wherever you were going, um, the settings were just, it, it felt very like there was a glass pane between me and the location. I like to be able to explore the world as I, I am reading it to feel like I am there. And the whole time it felt like, nope, can't get through not letting you through i'll let you know a little bit but i won't let you i'm not gonna let you go in that deep and with that characterization also you know the choices that people make because she didn't allow depth to be explored it felt very odd and there were there were there were choices that characters make throughout their lives where i'm like why would you do that why why i'm not saying you know if it was me i would have done otherwise but it still is like from what i know of your character you would never do that so why have you done that it, you know it was just it was very weird it was very weird you know, the 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 way in which jane writes she's she's a good writer she i think this was like a fifth book at this point so she was she'd already been published for a while uh, and everything so this wasn't a debut novel situation she's a good writer but at the same time it felt like everything was about this one thing and then when slight spoiler here we get something similar down the at the the end of the book it was like why what what's the point here? why did why would as an author why would you have your characters go through this and then go through that right at the end the book ends really abruptly as well it it's just it's very uh, uh, very unbalanced because as I said, it's not like, you know, there's one aspect that's really positive and a different aspect has got a negative. Every single aspect has a positive and a negative for me. It just, it, it just feels a bit <sighs> wrong. <laughs> and I really hate to be, I really hate to say that, but it's just... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's a bit, bit odd. Um, I don't think I. It. This is the really frustrating thing, where I could make suggestions of how this could be improved. But at the same time, I totally get why she did what she did as an author. But I don't, you know, that thing of, you say, well, you could have done this, you could have done that, you could have done that. I don't know what that suggestion would be. And I don't know if it's just because it's cold and, uh, you know, me trying to read through it while I, while I was ill and everything, that I can't, I can't find the answer of what she could have done different. Or maybe there is no answer. I just... 
the the the, the structuring and what she put together just feels a bit weird but it's not bad yeah it's as i said it's so contradictory it's so unbalanced it's just odd and what the the as i said it's it's one one of the group's choices when this mid-atlantic disaster is happening changes the course of all of their lives when it got revealed what it was it's like is that it is that it this is this is the thing you've made me read hundreds of pages to be able to find out the answer to and that's it and then she goes right in there really abruptly and it was just Mm, I felt really let down, really let down. But then, as I said, because I'd not read any of Jane's books previously, I didn't know what to expect. I, uh, you know, it's just, it's just one of those books where I've experienced it. And that's all that I can really say. <laughs> and I've, I feel really bad for saying that. Maybe, maybe you could argue that because I wasn't well, I wasn't in the right headspace to focus. And I found it. I found this week where I've been ill really difficult to focus on anything. Like I started watching a drama. Uh, sorry, two dramas. One which I haven't watched any. No, both of them. I haven't watched anything at all this week. And my dad really wants me to watch them to talk about both of them because both of them he really loves. But I just haven't. I just literally just been finishing work and just been like, oh, because I just I just haven't been well. Um, so, yeah, you could argue I just wasn't in the right headspace for this book. And maybe it's a good idea for me to hang on to this book and try it again in the future. But yeah, I just felt this weird, every, for every smile, there was a frown. For every like, there was a dislike. It, it just every chapter was just up, down, up, down, up, down. And uh, yeah, I just... I honestly don't know how I feel about it. It's really awkward. It's really awkward. So <coughs> it's really awkward. Um, so yeah, it, it, um, um, it's a tough one, this one, because as I said, it's not a bad book, but if every chapter I'm finding positive and negative in multiple respects, oh, there's there's some there's some problems there's some problems here. So, yeah, and that's all I can think to say right now. Sorry, a short and sweet review this week, as I say, because I'm not well and my throat is a bit funny at the minute. Um, it's yeah, just. it's a tough one it's a tough one so my usual questions would i read this again i think i should i really think i should and i'm gonna put it i'm gonna keep it on my bookshelf and i'm gonna go back to it again at some point um but right now it would be a no but i will there we go uh, would I read any more Jane's work? I'm going to say yes, because I always say just because I didn't get along with one book, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get along with another book. So I am more than willing to give her the rest of her books another go and see how I feel about them. Would I recommend this to anyone? Right now, no. But if at a later date when I reread it, I were to feel differently about it, then possibly yes. But that depends on how I'm feeling once I reread it. 
So there we go, short and sweet. <laughs> Those are my thoughts of What Was Rescued by Jane Bailey. And have you read this book? I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comments box below. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Talk to you on your side. And I'll be back with my thoughts on my next read, which I'm very excited for, which is Death by Shakespeare by Catherine Hartcup. So yeah, and hopefully this bug will be gone by then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Bye.